Keith Hilson at the Trombone Trap of Trent Music back with another instrument review for you. So today I've got a Courtois trombone, but a little bit older model that we haven't seen a whole lot of. So this is the Courtois 420 Challenger. So this is a predecessor to the current Legend series. And this was developed um, starting in the early 90s by Courtois as a response to the Bach 42. And so as compared to a lot of, you know, the more French-inspired instruments, this instrument, again, has much more of an American influence uh, with this. So, you know, obviously we have the Hagman on it, but otherwise we have a one-piece yellow brass bell, a hand hammer, according to Courtois. We have the wider box-style slide, you know, with the square crook, uh, yellow brass, as well. As far as I know, it's just a single uh, bore. It's not a uh, 562 bore. Um, but then we have the single radius tuning slide. So... And again, it, 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 in their way, they're trying to create their, their own box style instrument with a very, you know, a little bit different chord sound, a little bit different response than, you know, what they had available with their other instruments here. So, again, something that we haven't really crossed across before, so I wanted to make sure I grabbed a video with it here. So, I'm going to be taking a play on this, uh, putting it through some French style repertoire to kind of see how it responds. I'm going to be playing all of this on a Bach 5G. <laughs> strikes me with this instrument is how not Bach like it is it's, it's really interesting you know one would think with a lot of you know everything that they have going on with it you know especially with the Hagman everything else going on one would expect it to be a fairly open instrument I don't really find it to be that way it's not resistant necessarily but it doesn't have the same really open broadness and um, you know vibrancy that you get out of the box. It's a different color. For me, in a lot of ways, it's still a very French kind of color. Now, it was interesting, when I first started playing this instrument, um, I, it, it was fine. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Once I started playing with the repertoire, it changed. I found it to be very, very stable and responsive. You know, As I was thinking through where I wanted the phrases to go, it really followed with me. Now, one of the things I have noticed with this, even you know, going through some of the posts of there, the upper range is a little tight on it for me. I really feel, felt like I had to push a little bit. And again, it was kind of nice in a way for this style of repertoire, I was able to let it float a little bit more for the, you know, the high C's, high B's, you know, I was able to, you know, let the instrument push against me a little bit because I wasn't really trying to put a lot of power into it. Um, 
where I think this would be interesting, and I actually I think the newer versions of the Search Files, like the Legend, I think does a better job of this, of opening things up more where it would be more appropriate in a large ensemble, you know, orchestral type situation where you need to have more of that open projection, you need to have more of the openness in the upper register, for example. Um, this doesn't really do that, but what it does do is in a more of a soloistic repertoire kind of situation, it supports you really nicely. There's a, there's a really nice color to it. It's very, it, it's balanced in its own way. It's certainly not overly bright. I think it can get a little edgy a little quickly if you really start leaning into it. But again, if you hold back a little bit, there's this really nice balanced warmth. I think it's geared a little bit towards the upper uh, frequencies there, but still really nicely balanced. And I, I do feel like it's a little bit closer. I don't hear the same type of projection bouncing off the wall like I do, for example, with a Bach, with a Hagman, like, you know, compares compared to this. But again, very interesting instrument in its own right. It's always fascinating to see kind of the progression of development to see, okay, here's where Courtois was, here's where they went to. Uh, the Courtois 420 Legend is a, uh, a horn I very much like. I think they've done a lot of nice development. This is a very different instrument, but in its own way, I think a, a very nice playing instrument as well. So as always, hope you enjoyed the video here. Um, if you have any experience with the 420 Challenger, um, or if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments below here. Um, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel, and please check us out on all of the social media channels. So thanks for watching, everybody.